In this video, we are going to demonstrate a pulse oximeter application using IFC 5651 board. There are a few things that you need to prepare. Firstly, you will need to download the 5651 Oxy SVB package from the link shown on the screen. In this package, you will find the firmware and software components required to do this demo. Other equipments that you will need are a PC with Bluetooth hardware. For example, if you own a newer notebook, your notebook may come together with an integrated Bluetooth radio. Or you can use a Bluetooth USB dongle. And this PC must be installed with a Bluetooth software component, including stack and a serial port profile. This demo actually uses uh, Microsoft Windows XP Service Pack 2. Uh, it comes together with a Bluetooth stack. And this demo also uses the USB dongle that you have seen just now. You also need to install the iPhone Re Oxy Client Pulse Oximeter application. This is part of the 5651 Oxy SPV package that you have downloaded earlier. And lastly, you will need to get hold of the BCI Oxylink Pulse Oximeter from Smith's Medical. Uh, you need to get the one with a serial connector. Next is uh, you need to download the 5651 Oxy SPP firmware into the MSP430. And you also need to restore the IFC 5043 Bluetooth module original firmware. That is a HCI firmware that supports HCI 3 wires interface at 9600 BPS. Okay, now let's configure the board. Firstly, set the mode jumper to norm mode. And set the LED cell jumper to MSP430. And set the 5043 CONN jumper to INT. And now let's connect the pulse oximeter to the second serial port. Make sure that the connection is tight and secure. Let's power up the board by connecting the USB cable. After the board is powered up, you will notice that the yellow and the red LED are blinking alternately. This indicates that the Bluetooth stack is up, and the board is in discoverable and connectable mode. In this video, we will skip the Bluetooth pairing process, as it will be different on different platforms. Basically, this pairing process is to get both devices, the F6565 board and the PC, to authorize each other before making a connection. Now, let's run the Oxy client. Now select the port name. This should be the outgoing FTP COM port created during the pairing process. Click Open COM port. Now you will notice that only the red LED is blinking and the yellow LED is off. This means that the FTP connection is already established. Click on the power on to turn on the oximeter. Also insert your finger into the finger sensor of the pulse oximeter. Now the Oxy client is receiving data from the IFC 567 board via SPP over Bluetooth. It will take a while for the platysmograph data to be transferred from the pulse oximeter to the board and subsequently to the Oxy client application. Here we see that the pulse oximeter is connected to the board and the data from the pulse oximeter is transmitted over Bluetooth to the Oxy client application. Now let's turn off the pulse oximeter and close the COM port. After the connection has been closed, the yellow and the red LED are blinking alternately again. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit our website shown on the screen.